The circle shown here is given by the equation x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 4y equals 3. The question is what is the shortest distance from point A to point B? Notice that this is the diameter of the circle. So the question here is what is the diameter of the circle with the given equation? To solve this problem, we have to know that the equation of a circle can be written as x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where hk is the center and r is the radius. r would be the distance from the center of the circle to point A or the center of the circle to point B. In essence, this problem boils down to taking the equation in the form that it has been given and rewriting it in the form x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Because once the equation is in that form, it will be easy for us to grab the r out of that equation, which was the radius. This question is asking us to find the diameter, so we'll double the radius, and that will give us the shortest distance from point A to point B. The first step in taking the equation in its original form and rewriting it in the form of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared is to group together the terms that include a factor of x and the terms that include a factor of y. So all I've done in the first step is I've written the x squared and the minus 6x beside each other and I've written the y squared and the minus 4y by each other. The constant I've kept on the right side of the equation. The next step is to complete the square. I'm going to take x squared minus 6x, and I'm going to add a constant that completes the square on the x, and I'm going to complete the square on the y. The process to complete the square, as you might remember from algebra, is to take make sure the coefficient on the square term is 1, which is the case here on the x and the y. But then we're going to take the linear term the coefficient of the linear term in this case is negative 6. We're going to cut that in half and square it to get 9. 9 is the number that completes the square on x. I'm going to add a 9 to the left side of the equation and add a 9 to the right side of the equation. The number that completes the square on the y variable would be half of 4 squared, which is 4. Half of 4 is 2, 2 squared is 4. If I add 4 to both sides of the equation, it stays balanced, and adding that 4 completes the square on the y. What this allows you to do is to factor x squared minus 6x plus 9, it's a perfect square, to x minus 3 squared. It factors to x minus 3 times x minus 3. In the previous step, when we added a 9 to both sides of the equation, that was the only number that would allow you to write this quantity as something squared. The only number that would allow you to factor this as a quantity squared, which in this case is x minus 3 squared. For the y variable, we added a 4 to both sides of the equation, and that allows you to factor y squared minus 4y plus 4 to y minus 2 squared. On the right side of the equation, 3 plus 9 is 12, plus 4 more is 16, and at this point, We've rewritten the original equation in the form of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. We can see that the center of this circle would be 3, 2. The value of h and the value of k, once rewritten, is 3 and 2. That's not important to answer the question given in this equation, which was, what is the shortest distance from A to B? We'll use the radius to answer that question. In our equation, the number on the right side is 16, which represents R squared. So that means the radius would be the square root of 16, or 4. The distance from the center of the circle to point A and the center of the circle to point B is 4. And the shortest distance from point A to point B the diameter of the circle is 8.